There is no doubt that YouTube is among the most popular websites in the world, and its popularity is only increasing. People utilize the platform to disseminate their thoughts and experiences to a wide audience. Celebrities often overstep their boundaries in their pursuit of views on YouTube, but it's still fun to see your faves mess about and be themselves. Hey, Apple. Hey, Apple. Numerous events have occurred over YouTube's existence that have sparked widespread outrage and astonishment on social media. YouTubers may have started off naive, but the competitive nature of the business has led to some absurd and sometimes amusing feuds between video producers and even couples. If you think your crappy crap egg roll can beat my pink frosted sprinkled donuts of awesome, then you're wrong, cock goblin! YouTube has undoubtedly been the source of a lot of controversy as of late. From feuds among beauty vloggers to real criminal prosecutions. Here is a rundown of the most serious scandals to ever occur on YouTube. But before we continue, subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Number 9. Sam and Nia Sam and Nia started blogging about their family's everyday activities as Christians, and in March 2014, they gained popularity for a video in which they were seen lip-syncing to the Frozen song, Love is an Open Door. Love is an open door. A video of Nia's pregnancy announcement by Sam went viral in August 2015, making them internet sensations overnight. Some people questioned his veracity when he said in the video that he had used his wife's pee that she had left in the commode. It's a pretty clear sample. Nia's miscarriage was revealed in a subsequent video uploaded three days later, giving the skeptics even more ammunition. Immediately after the dramatic change of events, they went on an irregular basis only to come back to the site one month later. After that, Sam's membership on Ashley Madison, a place where cheating spouses meet, came to light. He admitted to having a profile but said he never used it. A few days later, Sam would confront several other vloggers over their remarks about the miscarriage, leading to his removal from the event by security. Questioning us if we had faked our miscarriage. Number 8. PewDiePie PewDiePie has amassed over 59 million followers, making his channel among the most prominent on YouTube. The Swedish YouTuber known as PewDiePie rose to fame by posting videos of himself playing video games and then ranting and doing comedic vlogs. However, not even the most popular YouTubers can avoid controversy. Because afterwards, you can't go lol just kidding. The Wall Street Journal reported in August 2017 that since August of that year, PewDiePie has uploaded nine videos to his channel that included anti-Semitic material. All of them have subsequently been removed. Disney's Maker Studio, which broadcasts his videos online, dropped him after the public reaction. While PewDiePie has built a fan base by being controversial, an official from Maker Studio has stated that this time he crossed the line. Yet, even with PewDiePie's status as one of YouTube's top stars, he was apparently kicked out of Google's preferred advertising platform after videos including racist and sexist content caused a stare. What a f nick. Jeez, oh my god, what the f PewDiePie addressed the criticism in a post on Tumblr in which he said that he absolutely do not endorse bigotry of any type. He apologizes if any of the jokes I made came off as disrespectful, it was not his purpose. He doesn't endorse these individuals in any manner, as absurd as it is to suppose that I would truly condone these people. The celebrity, though, doesn't seem to have really internalized this lesson. Okay, no, that one is clearly fake. Okay, fake article. What else did we got? After a brief respite, the YouTuber was attacked once again in September 2017 for using the N-word on a broadcast, drawing widespread attention and criticism. He made a public statement of regret on YouTube. It was something that I said in the heat of the moment. I said the worst word I could possibly think of, and I'm not gonna make any excuses to why it did, because there are no excuses for it. I'm just an idiot. Number 7. Lonely Girl 15 Brie Avery, then a sweet 16-year-old who went by the handle Lonely Girl 15 first started uploading videos to YouTube in June 2006. They consist mostly of her chatting to the camera while sitting at her computer. Regular stuff, but Bree's adorable actions helped her become one of YouTubers' earliest big stars. She appeared to have a fantastic time discovering her surroundings and chatting regarding it in her clips, and her viewers adored her for it. Hi guys, um, so this is my first video blog. 
in the formative years of the internet, she was an obvious sensation. Just think of everyone's surprise as a few months later it was revealed that Lonely Girl 15 didn't even exist. According to the popular belief, Lonely Girl 15's controversy was the first of its kind on YouTube. I actually watch them like make it work and then I'm sitting here making fun of them. Mm -hmm. Brie Avery, portrayed by 19-year-old actress Jessica Rose, was revealed to be a fake persona whose online videos were created and carefully supervised by three California filmmakers to seem like a real video journal. The online series continued and even produced a number of turns till its demise in 2008, despite the fact that mainstream press took up the matter and the New York Times conducted a special investigation to identify the individuals responsible for it all. You must keep this information secret from them. Number 6. Daddy05. Michael Christopher Martin is the man behind the Daddy05 YouTube channel. What's up, Team D05? It included vlogs as well as practical jokes played on his kids by his wife. As the pranks escalated in severity, one other YouTuber named Philip DeFranco reported on the topic, leading to accusations that the parents were mistreating their kids. And that's a family that's been sharing their lives on a YouTube channel by the name of Daddy of Five. Michael and his wife caused controversy when they appeared in one of their videos and scolded their kids for getting ink on the carpet. Since the hoax tapes were released, the couple's rights to their children have been suspended and they stand a potential of five years in prison and a fine of $5,000. We realize that we have made some terrible parenting decisions and we just want to make things right. Number 5. Sam Pepper Sam Pepper, a British YouTuber, published a video on his channel in November 2015 with the title Killing Best Friend Prank. The film included other online celebrities Sam Goback and Kobe Brock, both of whom were being shown abducted by Pepper as he wore a mask. Holy crap. Ah! Ah! Oh, help! Pepper, knowing that just one of the men is participating in the joke, brings both men to a roof of a building and shoots the other, leaving Go Back in tears of shock. Despite the fact that more than 100,000 people had signed a petition demanding that YouTube ban Pepper from the platform because of the cruel prank, Goback defended his buddy in an appearance with Metro by stating that the film was about living life to the full. Because the backlash was so severe, Pepper created a GoFundMe page where he promised to remove his channel if he received $1.5 million. A video promoting the campaign was shortly taken off from his YouTube page. Not that this was Pepper's first time in trouble because of a video he posted. One titled Fake Hand A's Pinch Prank appeared on his channel in September 2015 and it seemed to show him accosting ladies. When accused of sexual assault and rape, Pepper said sexual assault was the major focus of the experiment in the film and that it was planned and orchestrated. Afterwards, he took the clip off from his account. Number 4. The Brooke Houts Incident When people hear the name Brooke Houts, they automatically become angry. YouTuber Brooke has been making videos since 2014, but it wasn't until she adopted a dog called Sphinx that she really started to get attention. With Sphinx, she was showcasing an entertaining and mischievous way of life, and the public adored her for it. Except in August of this year, when Burke uploaded an apparently routine video inside which she sadly failed to filter out several frightening pictures she plainly had not meant for anybody to see, Uncensored Films shows Brooke continuously striking and pushing Sphinx as he attempts to play with her, even though she chats to the video. When he inadvertently started talking in her final scene, she grabbed him, pinned him towards the floor, and yelled at him to stop. Stop! After that, she spat on him. This scene comes to a close with Brooke giving Sphinx one more smack, which causes him to retreat off screen while visibly whimpering out of fright as she approaches him. The public, the media, and Brooke's erstwhile supporters all went into a raging anger, shredding Brooke to pieces online and demanding that she be jailed for animal abuse as a result of her actions. Eventually, 
Brooke tried to apologize on YouTube, but her efforts were fruitless, and the authorities launched an inquiry against her. Her career was destroyed in the span of 24 hours, and despite her numerous attempts to re-emerge thereafter, she has always been ruthlessly rejected. Number 3, J Station. People generally agree that JStation represents the absolute worst of YouTube. His poisonous, deceptive, and creepy tendencies have been pointed out by his fellow artists on countless occasions. It's like God doesn't want me to be happy or something. Although YouTube banned his channel and finally erased it, prompting him to start again with a new account. There are still a lot of folks who don't understand why he is even permitted on YouTube. Why? All of this because in 2019, Jay Station made the decision to stage the death of his lover in order to increase his viewership. And we're gonna say our last goodbyes to Alexia. He went to great lengths to convince his primarily young viewers that his lover, Alexa Murano, had been killed in a terrible vehicle accident and that he had been devastated by her passing. That's it right there. To prove where she had been killed, he constructed a fictitious accident scene beside the roadside. Jay's failure to speak to her soul was the bleak climax of a video miniseries worth of buildup. Numerous individuals exposed him as a liar, resulting in him being finally forced to apologize. Subsequently, Alexa's story of domestic violence emerged, in which she claimed that Jay often intimidated and coerced her into doing stuff for the purpose of increasing their YouTube views and subscription count. In the end, Jay was detained and charged with assault with a firearm as a result of the claims. Even though he's now back to YouTube and is uploading content on a regular basis, JayStation will forever be regarded as the jerk who fabricated his girlfriend's passing for popularity. Have a good one. See you in the next one, guys. Number two, Logan Paul filmed a dead body. In terms of widespread outcry, Logan's clip from late 2017 slash early 2018 showing a guy whom have died by suicide in Japan's Aokigahara, sometimes known as the Suicide Forest, is perhaps the largest YouTube controversy ever. It was very obvious that the dead committed suicide side even with the face obscured. I'm not even kidding. Do you see it? Remember that most of Logan's supporters are really young people. After they discovered the dead, Logan and his team tried to produce dark humor, but their jokes fell flat and infuriated everyone. As of this writing, everybody from Debbie Ryan and Aaron Paul to Jeffree Star has spoken out against Logan's conduct. Logan offered an apology, but the act sparked extra criticism when it was claimed he had tried to profit from it. Uh, like I said, I've made a huge mistake. I don't expect to be forgiven. The YouTuber finally severed relations with Logan entirely by stopping all advertising on Logan-related videos, though YouTube quickly reinstated Logan's ability to earn money from his videos. During this period of increase and decreasing value, Logan once again angered people by violating assaulting a corpse. In addition to this video, his subsequent vlogs from Japan revealed how he utterly disregarded Japanese values and traditions and received a lot of blowbacks as a result. Number 1. Mona Lisa Prez and Pedro Ruiz To attract more attention to their June 2017 show, Mona Lisa shot Pedro as he held a heavy book. Right here is a 50 caliber Desert Eagle. And as may have been expected, the ploy backfired spectacularly, taking Pedro's life in the process. It was his plan to carry out the prank. The book wasn't as effective as he had hoped in deflecting the gunshot. He reasoned that because another book had absorbed the impact of the bullet, it must be safe. I just want to see if a 50 caliber bullet can go through a book. By the time of Pedro's death, the pair had already welcomed one child into the world and Mona Lisa was expecting another. Mona Lisa had tweeted, me and Pedro are probably going to make one of the most hazardous videos ever, his idea, not mine, just before the event, which was terrifying in its own right. The court accepted Mona Lisa's criminal conviction to second degree murder in December 2017. According to sources in the local press, Ms. Prez entered into a plea arrangement that would see her serving a 180-day prison sentence on a 10-in-10-out 10 10 basis for the initial six months for a total of 90 days in prison. The court allowed 90 days of house arrest.